The civil rights movement in the 1960s sparked riots and protests across the country. In Danville, Virginia, peaceful demonstrators were beaten and arrested. One of those arrested, Ms. Louise Pinchback, reads a letter she wrote while in jail. August 20th, 1963. I am a satisfied demonstrator. This is strange indeed and maybe a little comical but a very truthful thought. Near the end of May 1963, our city of Danville became a city of people, Negroes, becoming wide awake from a long, deep sleep, became a city of protesting and demanding people. Thus was the beginning of the freedom movement. I became thoroughly convinced that I had to stand up and protest the evils of segregation, even if it meant going to jail. I went to jail for eight days and longer if it had need be. While there, I received a letter from the Recreation Department where I worked stating that I had been suspended for 30 days without pay for the following reasons. A, being absent without leave, B, violation of the city ordinance and injunction, C, disgraceful conduct, unbecoming a city employee. My answer to these charges, as I told my department head, and they are true, I was not absent without leave. I had applied for vacation. It had been granted. To the other two charges, I said I am an American citizen and the Constitution affords me the right to peacefully protest. This city does practice segregation and I know it is wrong and sinful, so I protested and protested loudly. Then too, I am still deeply grieved when I see the people who were beaten. I will never forget it and I was told by the department head that he would never forget it either. The first two nights in jail, I experienced this terrible feeling of everything closing in on me when the cell doors locked for the night. On the third night, something told me to read my daughter's Bible, for everyone was in the same cell in jail. I did read aloud to the other girls and we had prayer. It was at that moment that I experienced this deep, complete satisfaction that I had done what God wanted me to do. Getting better jobs and higher wages for my people, being able to take my children to the movies and restaurants and most of all doing away completely with police brutality. And the quicker it's done, the better, I know. We will overcome, for black and whites are joined together. There is no need to be afraid, for God is on our side. I know, for when God wants to use you, he'll tell you what to do, show you how to do it, and give you courage indescribable with which to do it. A satisfied demonstrator, Nanny Louise Pinchback.